ballet of bulldozers, the moments of grace in a sea of fury, the crowd fickle fanatic. Hey guys, this is your host Oman Gavaraz bringing you another video. Uh, today is uh, Thursday 25th, 2016. Um, before heading now guys, I just wanted to make this quick vlog. Um, um, well, before, before I start, um, I want to uh, give a happy birthday to Steel Jackson. Uh, I saw your video, bro, and it was your 19th. Felicidades uh, totales. Total greetings, man. Uh, happy birthday. Hope you had uh, a great day. Uh, saying that, um, I want to talk about the situation with Joey Bosa. Listen, guys. Uh, the reason why, and more or less, uh, I follow Chargers is because, like I said on previous vlog, is the nearest team I have near my my house. So I have seen on uh, ESPN, uh, ESPN, um, NFL Network. A couple of videos on Facebook that my brother that my uh, cousin has posted and I click it's in uh, it's about uh, CBS Sports CBS Sports San Diego and Joey Bosa is still refusing to sign the contract I think it's a four-year deal nowadays it's a four-year deal um, and show up for practice and all that, the preseasons and so forth and so on. But his his actions doesn't support. Uh, what I mean about that is that how can you? Uh, even I have a hard time saying it. It's hard, guys, when you think in Spanish and you want to say it in English. So. How can you validate your actions when you not even step on the field? I get it and I have seen it uh, following the NFL since the 80s. The good thing and the bad thing, and I'm going to put in an example, guys. Um, John Elway, back in 83, Baltimore. Baltimore Colts and he does, didn't want to sign with the team he was a I would have to say top three quarterback on that class the other two being Jim Kelly which is my favorite quarterback that I saw as a teen and the other is Dan Marino so he was a special quarterback who had it all uh, power he can run his percentage wasn't like great but uh, back then the NFL rules were a little more difficult so you can complete a pass and uh, the defensive player had more advantages over the wide receivers so he said that he didn't want to play for the team but he he came out and said it you know, I wanna, well, I wanna rephrase that. He had the option, and in, a, in a documentary I saw, he had the option to play baseball. Uh, he got chosen by the New York Yankees back then. He had two options. And what happened? Five Super Bowl appearances and two-time champion. Hall of Famer. The other guy is who was a spoiled brat, and I will say it like that, was Eli Manning. It happened in San Diego. Well, he fought, his father intervened and uh, he didn't want to play in San Diego and he got traded. And in the trade, they got Philip Rivers, which isn't that. Bad. Philip Rivers has proven over ten years that he is 
a top 10 quarterback. But the other thing is a player that I follow and a team that I follow in the late 90s, early 2000s were uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had a safety, and I'm, and I'm sorry to say this, but he was uh, the first white safety that played like a, he played like Steve Atwater, like uh, he had that soul, you know, uh, Jack Tatum, I think he was the other one from the Raiders. He had that soul running a lot. He hit hard, you know. And when they won the Super Bowl in 2002 in San Diego against the Raiders, uh, they did a uh, America team in the 2002 Buccaneers. And in Warren Sapp says that before he got there, along with uh, it was Warren Sapp, and uh, I cannot remember the name. And I'm, and he was the second player chosen after Warren Sapp. It was uh, Warren Sapp, and then it was Derek Brooks. So John Lynch was already there. He got drafted in '93, and they still had the ugly uniform, the yellow, orange. I don't know if it was a pirate or whatever, but anyway, uh, on on the documentary. On America's team, 2002 Buccaneers. Um, they started hitting John Lynch, which is uh, it's a between teammates, right? Saying that he had a good uh, situation in the family. He had a good family business, which permitted him to go to Stanford and play NFL. But is it is only guys since 2000 I will say 2000 and until now that I have seen a guy neglect to sign his contract when when um, you're not like I said you're not even have proven yourself in the field so how can you demand something that you have not even proven you know and I don't want to put a lot of minutes on this vlog it, it is something that I wanted to say uh, because it is today starts week number three and there's four teams that are gonna see how they play uh, Steelers which I think they play on Sunday Chargers the, the Broncos and um, and the Panthers so You have two options, San Diego Chargers. And this is why when I was editing the, the drafts, which I did in parts, and the sports guy from uh, CBS said it. And I, I thought they were gonna get one of them, but on the other hand, San Diego Chargers, you shot yourself on the foot because I thought either you were going to get Ramsey to substitute for Weddle or get an offensive tackle, which they were, there were two guys who can help your offensive line and help Mel and help and help uh, Melvin Gordon get a thousand yards because uh, if not if you're not um, resolve this in a couple of weeks today is 25th so you're what two weeks away from from the NFL season and you have this dilemma so um, the thing is guys 
when you're gonna when you're going to draft a guy make sure or all his conducts and motives are, are are real I would have loved if Ramsey was with the Chargers he was is a special corner safety defensive tackles not, not that much not since JJ Watt you know hope you're doing well always remember to be humble and blessed this was your host Omar Guevaraz thank you for seeing the video like comment subscribe if you want to saludos totales and have a great day Stanley is football the greatest game in the world and I say yes footsteps yes it is